Not bad, Kian. You did well out there today. Thank you, Master, but your praise shames me. The light of the goddess blinds my opponents and guides my sword to victory. Your skill with the sword is unmatched, Kian, and so is your faith, but the one does not equate with the other. What do you mean, Master? Your devotion to your faith and your prowess with a blade should never be confused. Religion and war mix as well as dry grass and a flaming torch. How can that be? I hold my sword in the name of my faith, and my faith is the shield that protects me from harm. They are like two rings intertwined. Or like a pair of snakes eating each other's tails. Don't be blinded by rhetoric, Kian. I've taught you better than that. But the mission, Garmon. Politics! When did you become a woman? Your dedication to the mission is a waste of your potential and your time. With great talent comes great responsibility. You could be a powerful man, Kian. Instead, you've chosen life as a puppet. A puppet! Well, you've never approved of my calling. But I have pledged my life to the goddess and I have vowed to protect her word. The word of the goddess does not require your protection, and you have pledged your life to the Six, not the goddess. Don't confuse the two. On this we will never see eye to eye, Master. I am an apostle of the faith, and I have... A thousand pardons, apostle. Excuse me, Master. Yes, Childena. The Six require your presence, Apostle. When? My apologies, Apostle. They said to bring you immediately. Thank you. Master, forgive me. Of course, Kian. You're excused. We will continue practice without you. Aminon! Nozan! Into the ring! And try not to swing your swords like shy little schoolgirls this time around! Please, Apostle, we must hurry. You look like two lovers your skill out for with a the in the is beyond compare, Fight, Apostle. Dance. Follow me, Apostle. Lift that arm! Child Enna wants me to follow her to the council room to see the six. They are waiting, Apostle. Please enter, Apostle. Apostle, our apologies for calling you away while you were training. We know that you are busy with the initiates, but this could not wait. We have just had word from our armies in the east, and it worries us deeply. Our dearest Apostle, we have a very important task for you. Yes, Mistress. Apostle, you know how some Eastlanders still resist our noble efforts at uniting their fractured nations and bringing the word to their goddessless lives. The mission continues unabated, of course. Nothing shall stand between the glory of the goddess and those lost ones who have strayed from her light. But still there are a few who have chosen to oppose us. Those misguided pagans have become a dangerous obstacle in the path. Apostle Kian, we need you to travel east to those heathen lands to bring the word to the heretics. There is a man who leads these rebellious few, these insurgents. A man whose hands are soiled with the blood of many trueborn. A Deoman. You must travel tonight to the Havens, Apostle, and board a cloud ship bound for the city of Mercuria. When you reach your destination, you will seek out this man, this... this butcher. They call him the Scorpion. You must seek him out, and you must convert him. By the letting of his blood, he shall be reborn into the next life where he may find forgiveness in the glory of the goddess. Find this rebel leader, this scorpion, and let your blade kiss his throat. This is your mission, Kian Alvane. As you please, mistress. Your word is my path. You will leave now with haste. May the goddess be with you, apostle. And mind the scorpion does not sting you before you sting him. I shall be vigilant, mistress. Blessed be the goddess. Blessed be the path. Blessed be the word, blessed be the mission.
Can we trust him? If not him, then who? He is our most faithful apostle. He knows not to question our word. He will complete his mission. The prophet was adamant. There is much resting on this task. It is the last obstacle, the prophet said. When it is done... The light of the goddess will wash across the world like a tidal wave, drowning all those who lack faith. May that day come swiftly, and may the goddess aid the apostle in his mission. The future of our empire rests on his shoulders now. <laughs>